When you serve in the military, you have to maintain your uniforms and gear. Now, over time, changes in technology or changes in uniform and equipment regulations have perhaps reduced the amount of time you're spending maintaining your gear. However, it all requires some sort of effort. When I enlisted in the military, there were still black combat boots and black jungle boots that you had to polish, sometimes on a daily basis. Desert boots were available, but they weren't issued to everybody and worn on a regular basis like they are today. Additionally, there were still items that were produced in brass that you had to polish by hand before inspection or before wearing them on duty that were still in supply at that time. Now, prior to me enlisting, anodized brass, which is more or less like a clear coat over the brass to protect it where you really don't have to maintain it, was available. And dress shoes with a laminate over them called coriframs were available. Those are time savers. But when I went to boot camp, our drill instructors decided that since this stuff was still in supply, still available, that they wanted us to learn how to properly maintain this stuff. Now, I can tell you that from what I saw, all the platoons after us got the anodized brass and the coriframe dress shoes. So we were, we were really learning a, a, a skill that was uh, going to become a lost art. However, I'm kind of glad that we did learn that. And although once I got out in the fleet, I spent money to get all anodized brass on everything and I got myself a set of coriframes, I can still use that knowledge to this day. Now what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to take this M1916 holster that I've had in storage for about 40 years. And you can see this corrosion on the snap here and uh, on some of the other brass on here. And I'm going to take Never Dull and see if I can clean that surface corrosion off. Now Never Dull is a cotton wadding with a chemical in it that helps clean and protect metal surfaces. It'll also remove uh, light surface rust. So I've I, I learned about this when I was in boot camp. We used to use this to polish our, our, our brass on our uniforms. As a matter of fact, I've still got the old can. If, if you're not polishing brass on a daily basis or whatnot, something like this could last you conceivably a, a lifetime. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give it a try and see if I can remove this surface corrosion. So I'm simply just going to take a small piece of Neverdoll. I mean, that's that's more than enough. You really don't need a lot of this stuff. And I'm simply just going to wipe it onto the surface here. I can use a circular motion. Look at that. Look look how quickly that took the corrosion right off of there. Go ahead and rub it right on there. Takes that green right off. And you might look at this small piece here and say, oh, you, you need to get an, another one. You're, you're getting it, it's all saturated with uh, dirt and rust. No, you can really make a small piece that not, never will last. That, that's why I say uh, a can could conceivably last you uh, a lifetime. Now here, this eyelet here for the lanyard. And this isn't going to hurt the the leather at all. It is taking off some of the uh, leather dye there, but it's not going to hurt the leather at all. And it's as simple as that. Look at that. Good as new. Now, I can clean that leather off. Let me get something to clean that off with. And I'm just going to take an old terry cloth here and wipe off the residue from the Neverdoll. See, it, it did take a little bit of the leather dye off there. And if I wanted to, what I could do is I could, I could break this down with saddle soap if I wanted to and then apply leather dye to it. And then I could put a light coat of polish and then maybe uh, I could put some, uh, they've got some neutral polish that I could use maybe but originally this was a, a a lighter brown color 
And I'm not sure at what point somebody decided to, to dye it black, if that was a, a requirement or somebody decided to do that on their own. But I kind of really like the holster in the condition it's in, just the way it, the way it, it's always been. So now I don't have to, now I don't have to look at that, that rust right there. So never dull, something you can use to clean metal surfaces, in particular brass, but you can use this on, on military surplus gear that you've got that you're trying to bring some life back into, like say maybe an old cartridge belt with brass eyelets or a brass buckle or something like that, as well as maintain your uniform. And there are other household uses for it. So if you don't have any of this stuff in your gear, you might want to get it. Just keep it on hand. It'll last decades. Thanks for watching.